New South Wales is blessed with long and diverse coastline and abundant lakes and rivers, making for the perfect destination when it comes to fishing. Join me, Jonathan Bleakley, as I run you through some of the most beautiful spots in New South Wales to go fishing. Whether it be the coastal splendour of the Sapphire Coast, the freshwater rivers and creeks on the mid-north coast, the sand flats in Lake Macquarie, or here on the doorstep of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, we've got the tips and tricks to get you out on the water catching a fish. Let's start in Sydney at the incredible Natural Harbour. First on the agenda in Sydney Harbour is the Southern Calamari or Green Ice Squid. In order to tangle with one of these critters, you need three things in your favour. Clean water, tight structure, and an abundance of kelp sitting just off the rocks. Well, when you're chasing squid in Sydney Harbour, get yourself a couple squid jigs, find yourself an area where there's some weed beds just off the rocks, cast past the weed beds, and slowly hop it back to you. Oh, there he is, there he is, Toby. Yes, look at that. That's an awesome squid. There's a variety of fish to be caught in Sydney Harbour, so after a short walk along the rocks, we found a secluded beach that looked perfect for a dusky flathead. Small metal vibes or two to three inch soft plastics will do the trick. Cast them out as far as you can on the sand, let them hit the bottom, pause for a second, and slowly work it back to the bank. Next, let's head out of the city and up to the north coast. If you're looking for something a little more quiet, the 90 minutes up the M1 is a top class fishery in the form of Lake Macquarie. Being the largest tidal saltwater lake in the southern hemisphere, there's plenty of options to get the kids and family involved. Today, we're spending our time on the shallow sand flats of Swansea Channel, with the first step being pumping some fresh yabbies. We just pulled into a really nice sandy spot for the kids to have a fish, and now it's time to get the bait on the hook. So we've caught our yabby, get it out of the sieve, we're gonna pin it through the tail really, really lightly. I've got a small hook and a small sinker. We're gonna cast it out and then it's a waiting game. Well, fishing on the flats in Lake Macquarie is bound to keep the kids entertained. And if you happen to score a catch, then the brim and whiting are fantastic for the kids to handle. Now if salt water isn't your cup of tea, then perhaps you're more suited to some of the freshwater rivers and creeks that hold one of Australia's most iconic sport fish, the Aussie bass. If you're up for a good adventure, then this is the type of fishing for you. With wildlife, rapids and waterfalls, it makes for some exhilarating fishing. To think I'm only a 30 minute drive for the ocean is pretty cool. How are you buddy? I think he likes it here too. <laughs> yes! Oh, what a fish! When it comes to targeting Australian bass, it's all about finesse. That means casting your lures as close as you can to the bank, letting it sink one or two seconds, and slowly working it back to the kayak. These fish are aggressive and they put up for a great fight, especially when you're fishing by yourself. If sandy feet is what you're after when it comes to fishing, then the south coast of New South Wales is the place for you. With long stretching beaches and estuary mouths, just like here in Tarthra, there is plenty of opportunity to grab a rod, put on a backpack, and go out on foot in search for a tailor or a salmon from the surf. Well, the great thing about fishing off the beach is you can cover some ground, but that means we've got to keep our gear simple. I've got a light spin rod, a 4,000 size reel, and what we call a metal lure. The idea behind this fella is it imitates a fleeing bait fish. We cast it out as far as we can into the ocean, let it sink one or two seconds, and then wind it in really, really quickly. The tailor and the salmon, which is the fish that we're targeting, are gonna think that fella's real and come and eat it. I'm gonna head down the beach and start fishing. Oh, 
come here, mate. Oh, yes. Early morning in Tarthra on the south coast of New South Wales and a big tailor. It does not get any better than that. Whilst Taylor and Salmon can be pretty willing customers, you still want to plan your sessions around low light periods. I prefer the early morning, but late afternoon works just as well. And don't forget, if you're fishing anywhere near rocks in New South Wales, you need to wear a life jacket. To finish off a fishing journey in New South Wales, we find ourselves on the shores of one of the many freshwater empowerments that stock our inland catchments. These empowerments provide for some fantastic fishing opportunities if you're after the yellow belly perch or Australian bass. Other great fishing spots in New South Wales include the Murray River, where you can catch Australia's largest freshwater fish, the Murray Cod. And if you want to test yourself when it comes to technique, you can pick up a fly rod and head to the lakes and rivers of the Snowy Mountains in search of a brown or rainbow trout. And the best part about fishing in New South Wales if you don't catch a fish, you can grab a campsite with a couple mates and enjoy what the beautiful surroundings have to offer. How lucky are we? New South Wales has an abundance of fishing options and can take you to some of the most beautiful places imaginable. To get involved, grab yourself a fishing licence, get yourself a bit of tackle and go explore some of these fantastic locations. For more on fishing in New South Wales, head to visitnewsouthwales.com and don't forget, Subscribe to the New South Wales YouTube channel for more expert guides. I'll see you on the water.